Welcome back to the Punisher Le Mans garage. We're working on something a little different tonight. Doing a little interior work. Now, this is out of my realm of expertise. I'm not an interior guy, but you cannot find door panels anywhere right now, and they're expensive when you do find them. So I'm going to try my best to fix the ones that I got. As you can see, they're not in great shape. So I've peeled this cardboard stuff off of here. Go ahead. So I've peeled this cardboard stuff off of here, and it's real flimsy, as you can see. So that leaves just this backer. Which I'm not going to be able to get all that off of there, I know that. So I'll probably try to peel as much of it off as I can. But, we're going to set this off to the side. I got this, I don't really know what it is, it's kind of like a particle board. I got it from work, it came on one of our pallets of metal. I was going to toss it out and I thought that would make a pretty good door panel actually. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to trace it out on this new piece I'm gonna cut it out and hopefully make it look pretty good like I said I am not I'm not a carpenter I'm not an interior guy so this is a little a little out of my realm of expertise but I'm kind of a jack of all trades, so I think I can make this work. <clears throat> we'll see. If not, I'm not out of anything because, well, my door panels was trash anyway. I had a piece of aluminum on the bottom of them to, uh, to make them look right. To hold them down so they didn't just flop in the wind when you opened the door. I may have to get a different pin because that did not transfer on that very well. Now those, I, I don't really know how I'm going to do that. But, uh, these slots and stuff are a little weird to do. I don't really know that I have to have them. I don't really know what they're for, but I'll mark them out anyway. So, now we have all of all these parts. And this stuff actually cuts pretty easy with, you can't really cut it with a box knife per se, but you can almost cut it with scissors actually. So. Uh, if I have any guys that do interior work, leave me some comments. Let me know how big of an idiot I am and what I'm doing wrong. Like I said, this is definitely not something that I do, so. I think, though, that I can do it like this, actually, too. Because part of it's missing on the bottom, so I don't really have a exact you know thing to go off of so I think I don't know why this wouldn't work then because this should be the inside dimension of it which I, if I'm thinking about it right I don't know maybe I'm not could be like Dalton over at full barn garage on holy goat just find me some door panels off of something and make them work 
It's actually turned out pretty good on his car. Anyway, that's where I'm at on that. I will try to cut that out tomorrow at work. So I took this to work today. Traced it out. And I cut it out. Still have to cut the holes and stuff. But as you can see, this is going to work pretty good. I need to figure out how to reattach this. Other than that, I'll staple this like it was. Get all the holes cut. I'll get this fastened back down. I'll get it glued on here and stapled. Then we're gonna re-dye it black because we're switching the interior color to black. I'm not a big blue fan. So I mean I like the color blue but not interior wise I guess. Well it's actually gonna turn out pretty good. So I'll be tracing out the other side and doing the other side. But I'll uh, take some more video of it when it's done. When it's all, when I got it all dyed and stuff. But you can save yourself a lot of money just by trying to take on little projects like this. I'm mechanically inclined, but I'm not an interior guy, but willing to willing to try it so if you're willing to try it you can save yourself a lot of money like I said the door panel was trash anyway so I really wasn't out anything but don't be afraid to try it save yourself some money learn how to do stuff it's a lot more satisfying when you do it yourself I think so. all right here we go I got the holes cut in it I ended up using a gorilla glue actually to glue this part to the metal piece I went ahead and stapled it or it's going to be underneath the armrest it didn't turn out too bad not at all actually if you'd have seen it before I did it so now I'm going to dye it black and I thought about taping off this chrome stuff but with it's all peeling like that anyway I think I'll just paint it all black and go from there anyway that's it it's not bad to do at all I don't have a lot of time in it it'll make the car look better inside and really I don't have any money in it because I got the wood from work but if you have the ability to do things yourself, that's what I would do. Anyway, that's one more little project off the list. On to something else.